Uh, okay, hello everybody, my name is Jerry Wise, and welcome back to my channel and the podcast. Um, this is officially the 47th episode on of the Weather's Media Podcast. Um, I do have some news, but first, you can't see me, that's okay, I don't know why, Let's just get past it right now, okay? Uh, let's bring on Aaron. Aaron, hello. How are you? Uh, I'm good. I'm I'm kind of weirded out because I can't see you, man. It sucks. I know. Um, I hate it. But yeah. <laughs> I mean, we'll still pull out some good content. Yeah. So, yeah. So, um, I have some news. Oh. For Weathers Media. This um, be interesting. So I have officially come to terms. <coughs> hold on. Well, hold on. I'm going to die real quick. And I'm back. I've come to terms on deals with Dustin Little and Logan Price. Now, I want to make sure everyone knows this. Okay. They are not contracted wrestlers for Mayhem. They are, a, and this is a just a fact, they are contracted, actually, they're contracted for cheap marks. They're going to be Yes. Brand new voices on that channel. Yes, we're growing the channel. Yes. Okay. Oh, just raw wrestling fans. I feel like how we were doing it before isn't how we should go about the channel. Okay. I, I'm, um, I'm okay with changes. I, I I think as long as we put out content that we like. It shouldn't matter how many companies we have represented. Right. I, um, I feel like I feel like if we know it, we should like who whoever knows it the best and wants to do it can do it. I don't think I, I think having us having a, a set promotion to focus on it, it it worked at first, but like now that we're expanding, it really can't work that way. Yeah. So I know that was my idea, and like you said, at first with four people, mm -hmm. it, it it was pretty concise. Yeah. Um. But now that we are officially growing the channel, um, I think it will be a lot easier if we just kind of do whatever. Um. Yeah, I, I totally agree. So starting January first, twenty twenty one. Starting off the new year, right? We will be coming back with uh, cheap marks. The channel, the cheap mark channel. Mm -hmm. Um, and we will. I'll, I'll make sure I get the little, little promos from the guys, uh, from Dustin and Logan, and we can see where it goes from there. Um, yeah. we're obviously gonna start off with the podcast. The Weathers um, Media Podcast. That's what we're on now. Uh, we're going to start January 1st with a brand new Pete Marks episode. Hopefully with these two guys. I'm, I'm excited. I can't wait. Yeah. So, um, but yeah. So, well, there's some news. Some very quick news uh, for us. Um, and maybe even, we might even... Uh, have them in some other stuff that we do as well. Yeah. Uh, right now, though, I, th I think the Cheat Marks channel for, for those two exclusively are all right. Mm -hmm. um, I agree. I agree. And obviously, if they want to talk to me about doing other stuff, they obviously can. Uh, I'm mm -hmm. up for anything, as everyone else knows. Um, yeah. So, there's some quick news. I might be getting a candle. Oh, nice. I'm hoping for 
Ho hopefully your camera starts working soon. But uh, uh, did you did you see what happened on uh, on SmackDown? Tonight? I did not. Know. <laughs> You'll never guess who is the official number one contender for the Universal Championship. Just just take a wild guess. Um. Well, um... It, it's it's someone that you wouldn't think at all ever in the main event title scene. Who did you say? Braun? No. <laughs> no, no, no. Jay Uso. Jay Uso. Jay Uso. Why Jay Uso? They they did an angle on SmackDown tonight where Big E was uh supposedly Xavier Woods was supposed to be there because he's back. He's uh cleared, I guess. And uh so he goes to the park. Biggie went to the parking lot, and it was an ambush by Sheamus. Uh, he went to a local medical facility because in WWE you can't say hospital. Yeah. <laughs> so we can't either. I mean, so he went to the hospital, and uh, Paul Heyman suggested to put Jay Uso in the Fatal Four Way number one contender between Sheamus, Matt Riddle, and uh, King Corbin. They were. Big E was supposed to be in it, but they did the angle from earlier. And they put Jey Uso, and Jey Uso won. So right. at, Clash, at Clash of Champions, it's going to be Roman Reigns versus Jey Uso. Speaking of Clash of Champions, hmm. uh, so I, I, again, a little self-promotion for us. Uh, officially, September 8th. Yes. I think it's a third rate, right? I think so. Um, let, me, let me check that real quick. But, uh, yeah, interesting interesting stuff happened on SmackDown tonight. Okay. So, yeah, September 8th, this upcoming Tuesday, is going to be Kenny uh, Majid, I believe is how you say it. Mm-hmm. Um, the current All Star Wrestling we Quiz at, Champion. I thought we were doing on the sixth. Are we I doing on the sixth? Okay. No, not the sixth. The eighth. eighth. Okay. The eighth. The eighth. Yes. So. Okay. Anyways. Um, officially, Kenny Majid versus Aaron Matthews in a one-on-one -on -one quiz. Okay. Now. I want everyone to know, me and Logan will both be, you know, hosting this mm -hmm. um, officially. Um, there are five rounds, and there are some big points on the line. But make sure <laughs> you tune in. Tuesday, September 8th. I have not figured out a time yet. Um, I, I'm open whenever he's open. I you know, we'll we'll work we'll all work that out. Yeah, but yeah. So uh, Tuesday, <clears throat> September eighth. Um, I will make sure we get all that worked out. Uh, thank everybody who supports us, obviously. Um, yes. Yeah. So, um, let's actually. I actually do have some notes written down for this, by the way. Yeah, I, I wrote down. Well, I I mostly wrote down the AEW predictions, but I kind of like uh, I took mental notes during SmackDown uh, from tonight. Yeah. So, I'm, and and let's, AEW. Let's focus on some other stuff I wrote down. I wrote, right. I've written down. <coughs> oh, my God. I'm dying. <laughs> All right. So, first up, we have um, a, a lot of this is going to be local news to me and Aaron, really, because a lot of it's uh, well, two of them is at Michigan. Yeah. Um, but there was a man found deceased in an adult foster care home in Detroit. Um, wow. So basically what happened was he, uh, the caretakers um, weren't paying close attention. Mm -hmm. And he had, they thought that he walked out of the house and like started like walking down the road. Which right. does happen sometimes. It it happens. Yeah. So 
for two months, I think. I think it was two months. They did not know where he was. Damn. The staff went to the basement, and they found him dead in the basement. So now there is an investigation into neglect at this AFC home. I don't know what it's called. I, I don't know the name of it. Um, the Of the charge? No, of, of the AFC home itself. Oh, 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 yeah, uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know. But, yeah, so that happened. I That's very disgusting. Yeah. Uh, Chadwick Boseman passed away. I know we kind of talked about this on the quiz. Or did we talk about this on the quiz? Did we? No. Well, it was it was after the quiz was when we were doing when we were talking, you know, and doing our little, you know, okay. kind of like our after talk. Right. Yeah. Yeah. The post. Yeah. Trailer, so yeah. Was, yeah. So we we kind of went over it. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So Jerry Bozeman, um, I, he had uh, stage four. What was it colon, colon cancer? Yeah. Colon. Colon cancer. Um. And he passed away, unfortunately. Uh, very sad mm-hmm. for everybody. Uh, he was a great actor. Uh, oh yeah, he was. He was awesome. And he he was a great person outside of Hollywood too. You know he yeah. You know would go to children's hospitals and you know just, just an overall amazing person. Uh, but yeah, so I uh, I'm a lot of people talked about this. I don't really want to you know like retread everything. Um, right. Just, I mean, if, if, if you want to know about him, so many people talk about him on YouTube. So go check him out. Oh, yeah. The Marvel did a little tribute video for him on YouTube. If you want to go check that out, that's also up. Uh, Marvel Studios YouTube channel. Um, Did you hear about the Jacob Blake shooting? Do you know anything about that? The, the Kenosha? Yeah. Or, no, 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 not. Yeah. Was it in Kenosha? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah Wisconsin, yeah. 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 Um, mm-hmm. So for those of you who don't know, um, a man named Jacob Blake was at a house trying to break up some domestic argument or something. It was, I believe it was like his girlfriend or like his ex-girlfriend or something. Something like that. And she was fighting with another girl. Yeah. And I think they were fighting over him, so he broke it up and the cop showed up and then... Uh, they wrestled him to the ground and said he had a well, knife, even though no one can actually corroborate that, that he actually had a knife or not. Did they wrestle him to the ground? I'm pretty sure yeah. he was walking to his car. No, so first they wrestled him down because they thought he was oh, a part of it. Okay. okay. Yeah, no, I didn't I didn't hear about this part. I all I like all I remember was he was walking to his car and then he gets in the car and the cop shot him seven times. He actually didn't get in the car. So so what happened was he, the, the cop showed up and he was wrestled to the ground and they thought he, he had a knife. But the Kenosha police don't have body cams, apparently. And really? which yeah, that, that's weird. Um they, they don't have like body cams, so they you don't know if he did or not, because there's right. no body cam footage. Um eventually he got up, started walking to his car, and he went there's three kids in the backseat. Mm-hmm. One of the police officers grabbed him by his tank top, shot him seven times in the back in front of his children. Yeah, that's. I mean, that is just awful. <laughs> See, in, the, in that situation, I would have just tased them. You know, I would have tased them. I'd be like, "Okay, get out of here. Go away. You're not right. doing nothing." Right, but I think. They were they were also trying to ask him questions and he didn't he wasn't going to answer them, I think, but they because they wanted to know what was going on between the the two women, because right. they weren't saying anything. So and he was a he was a witness. So they they were trying to get his input on it. Yeah, but witnesses don't have to talk if they don't want to. Right, right. And that they they tried to force him to do so and and shot him. Um, he is alive. He did not pass away. He is still he, alive. He's, he's he's paralyzed. Yes, he, he is paralyzed now, which is very unfortunate. Mm. Um, hold on, ready? Yeah. Oh yeah. What the fuck was that? <laughs> My monster. Um. Oh. <laughs> yeah. I uh, were, so I, I, 
I thought you were going to get your camera to magically work. I was waiting for that. But. I don't even know if it will. Oh, it's all right. But yeah, it's just unfortunate for that it to is. happen. It's and, very unfortunate. Um, mm-hmm. Did you uh, uh, hear about what Stephen A. Smith said about Steve Nash being hired as uh, Brooklyn's uh, head coach for next season? Um, I don't like Stephen Smith. I think he is he, uh, a douchebag. He, uh, he called it white privileged. Because Steve Nash became head coach. Yeah, and but... um was it Charles Barkley? Yeah, it was Charles Barkley. And he he had something to say to that and he went off on him. Like see, he, see. But... He, he just he just basically said that Steve Nash deserved to become head coach because you know he knows the game, he's played the game for so many years. And he didn't get the job just because he's white. He got the job because he knows how to play basketball. He knows how the game works. So for Stephen A. Smith to say white privilege is the reason he became coach, fuck you. Okay. Yeah. I Excuse my language on this podcast. I know we're trying to be more family friendly on this, but really, screw you. Really. Steve Nash is one of, if not one of the best basketball players ever. Yeah, I agree. From the, yeah. uh, ever from the NBA. Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, I, I, I don't like Steven Smith. Um, <laughs> uh, I, I might do a video on this uh, pretty soon, but I don't like him. I don't think he's a good commentator. Um, he's annoying. He is annoying. And <laughs> his takes are stupid and repetitive. Because he just kind of copies everybody else. Exactly. He can't come up with his own original fucking content. Like... Yeah. Um, let's see here. Oh, so this is kind of old now, mm-hmm. but the Michigan High School Sports Association mm-hmm. um, decided... Well, actually, the gov... Okay, so the, the original story was that the Michigan High School Sports Association could lose hundreds of millions of dollars this year if they don't if they didn't get to play. Well but, but that's not their fault though. No, 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 but they could still lose so much money. That's stupid. Just because of fucking pandemic you lose all that money for athletics? That's dumb. What what? 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 I'm saying what? What? You heard what I said. Like, it's not... Like, just, just, you know, the pandemic comes, you know, and, like, so students don't get to play, you know, and then they lose money for that. That It's, you know... Yeah, they, they lose money because there's no sports, so no one's paying right. them. Right. Right. Anyways, can... Uh, anyway. I don't know. So yesterday it came out that the governor actually is letting the Michigan high school sports play. So they won't lose all their money. Well, that that's a good thing and a bad thing because I feel like, yes, that's cool that they get to play, but I really don't want that to happen. Why? Traveling, COVID, you know, and all that stuff. It's, that That shit will make it spread like a wildfire. Uh, not here. We're in the best state to live in right now. We are. 100%. <laughs> every, every other state is in the red. We're in the green. Every single part of Michigan is in the green. Because our governor did everything correctly, no matter what anyone wants to say. If you honestly have a ha, say that our governor is trying to ruin everybody's rights... I will fight you right here, right I'm now. I'm not. I'm not saying or not you. I'm that. talking to everybody else oh, who thinks so. Okay. I'm yeah, tired no. of hearing it. Our governor is actually smart enough to realize, oh, this is a she's problem. Actually, Let's shut she, it down. She's actually enforcing the fucking laws in public for masks wearing. And if you don't wear your mask in public, and you're supposed to, 
Uh, thousand dollar fine. That and I don't think you want to pay that. Um, not only are you risking your own life, which you probably don't give a shit about, but you're also risking other people's lives that do you want to live, which you probably don't give a shit about. Right. If you don't give a shit about if you don't give a shit about your own life, you're not gonna give a shit about anybody else. If you don't wear a fucking mask out in public, you don't care about anyone else but yourself, if not even yourself. Yeah. It's but Governor Gretchen Whitmer is doing a goddamn good job. Yeah, and I agree. I, I applaud her. I'm definitely voting for her the next time she's available for voting. Same. I, I, I actually, I, you know what? I'm, I'm going to say this on this podcast. Gretchen Whitmer for president. Okay, I don't think that yet. <laughs> Eventually, but not yet. Eventually. No, no, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying 20, 25 or, you know, soon. I'm just saying eventually. Eventually, yes. I 100% she agree. First, she could be the first woman to become president. Yeah, I agree. I'm, I'm all for it. I agree, hundred um, <laughs> percent. I'm glad that's here. one thing on politics we can agree. <laughs> right. <laughs> um. All right. Have you seen the NFL drop EA trend on um, Twitter? Uh, no. No. So, I don't have Twitter. Like I tell everybody, every single time I don't have Twitter. I did have a couple of them, but I. Deleted them because uh, I don't want them anymore. Uh, I don't use Twitter that much, but there's right. a YouTube channel I watch called Soft Drink TV. Um, and he was talking about how everyone should tweet out hashtag NFL drop EA so we can have more NFL games from different studios and kind of right. break up the EA monopoly. Yeah, because they used to have, the, you know. 2K used to come out with uh, NFL games because yeah, uh, 2K, 2K and EA had a little deal back you know, when they were doing that. They had they had deals, and then uh, 2K wanted out of their deal, so they dropped 2K and just continued with EA. Yeah. So, uh, same same thing with the NHL. They had you know 2K and yeah. EA had you know they had their sports deal you know because they came out with the NHL games with both companies and NFL games and NBA games. But, you know, NBA still obviously kind of has that deal, but more on the 2K side with NBA yeah, and more on the EA side with NHL and NFL. So I I wouldn't mind, you know, dropping EA from the rights and also letting other developers have a shot at making a good football game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so... My so he said that his reach isn't huge, my reach is even less than his. But let's continue that trend. Hashtag NFL drop EA. Let me let me put it up here. Hashtag NFL drop EA. Yeah, because like I feel I feel other different game developers can make sports games a lot better than EA can. That's the honest truth. Hashtag NFL drop EA is the um, the trend of this podcast. That's right. Um, it was going to be the name of this podcast, but then you know, all out is tomorrow. So. Uh, yeah. Right. So I NFL <laughs> drop EA. Um, so training camps got shut down, but I think they reopened. So uh, who cares? I believe so. Yeah. Um, I want to talk about all this, but a lot of this doesn't even matter anymore. Right. Um, Renee Young, not WWE, or yeah, Renee Young, not WWE bound, you know, she left. Oh, well. She's not going to AEW. Uh, no. I mean, there, there's a possibility in the future she might, Maybe. you know, but as of right now, I think, I think she's happy where she's at right now. Yeah. Um, I don't know if you heard about this, but there were rumors, or not not really rumors, but uh, news saying Sasha Banks wants to be a mom. So I believe uh, they they did a vicious angle on SmackDown tonight, uh, basically writing Sasha Banks off TV to pursue that, I guess. Um, um, speaking of SmackDown, no more retributions on SmackDown. Only on Raw. 
I, I noticed that because I was waiting for yeah. Retribution to show up, and I'm like, oh, come on, come on. Yep. Uh, Retribution is only a raw thing now, apparently. So uh, I think, I think, th and this this is far down the line, but I think this is what we're going to see at Survivor Series: Team WWE versus Retribution. I'm calling it. Interesting. Well, we'll, we'll see how that develops. I mean, it depends on how well the storyline for Retribution yeah. goes. Um, Brock Lesnar is a free agent. Basically, this is just Brock Lesnar wanting to leverage other companies against Vince to have Vince pay more money. Um, do you enjoy heel Roman Reigns? Dude, I love it. Yeah? I love heel Roman Reigns. I was waiting for the day he would turn heel officially. I was waiting. Because the... When when Roman Reigns had his feud with The Undertaker, he was kind of a heel, but kind of not. Like, the fans hated him, yeah. but he really wasn't a heel, yeah. if that makes sense. The, like, the only time before now when he was a heel was when he was in The Shield, but that got over quick. They They were over with the fans really quick after that, so he really didn't get a chance to be a heel that much. But yeah, dude, I love Roman Reigns as a heel, especially being aligned with Paul Heyman. Yeah. I love it. I, I love it. I, I was waiting for the day that Ro I knew that Roman would be eventually a Paul Heyman guy. I always yeah. thought Seth would, but I always had it in my mind, no, nah, it's going to be Roman Reigns. Right. But yeah, dude, heel Roman Reigns is perfect. It's what the yeah. fans want. Now all we need is John Cena to come back, turn heel, and align himself with Paul Heyman. Yeah. And all right. Unstoppable. You ready? Yeah. All right. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Hold on. <laughs> let, me, uh, let me get that. My mic really close to my face. I said, are you ready? Hell yeah. So, um, my good man, what is going to be the punishment for this, uh, for this prediction? So, I was thinking about that. <laughs> I um, knew you were. I knew you were. So, hear me out. I'm here. I'm listening. Since we are bringing back the uh, Chief Marsh channel. Yep. I think we should kind of Hello? Sir? Hello? Hello? Shit. Hold on. I'm gonna message you. Oh. Better? There we go. I can hear you. Can you? Yeah. Yeah, I can hear you. Oh, gee. Oh, God. <laughs> All right. Anyways, as uh, Jared was saying. Ah. So I was thinking, so, so we're going to bring back the Cheap Marks channel. Yes. Um, I think the punishment should be whoever loses. Has to. Are you ready for this? Yeah, um, yeah. I think the loser 
should say their top 10 favorite John Cena moments. Okay. Televised moments? Yes. Okay. So I can't say, oh, I saw John Cena. I was five feet away from John Cena at, at Fan Access. No. Damn it. It has to be on TV. Fuck. <laughs> and it can't be... It cannot be... It can't be archival any, footage from live events either. Right. It has to be on it, TV or right, pay-per-view. Yeah. Right. Raw, SmackDown, or pay-per-view. Or NXT, because I'm pretty sure he was on NXT one time. He's not. Never? No. Nope. And no OVW stuff either. Fuck! No. So no prototype shit? Nope. Oh, fuck no, no. come on it has to be his current character so i can't can i say Super his Cena. debut so can i say his debut match with kurt angle no oh, so I no can't. so no doctor of economic shit no nope. so from basically from two when did you become super Cena? like 2008 uh something like that 2007 2008 2008 to now? Yeah. Fucking shit. Yeah, it okay. has to be in that. The worst period of John Cena has to be in that period. All right, I can't lose. All right. Because as you know, with guys, ladies and gentlemen, with AEW predictions, I win every time. You got uh, to put that in consideration. Yeah. All right. We're gonna start from the bottom. Yeah, I, I wrote that I wrote it that way in order that way from bottom to the top. So all right here, let me I got it right here. Well hold on, hold on, give me a second. Okay, okay. So surprisingly the buy-in isn't gonna be on YouTube like it always is. Oh, that's kind of weird. It's gonna be on uh, the the on pay-per-view, so oh. Which is weird, but you know. Yeah. But our, uh, yeah. That's not really what I wanted to do. <laughs> there. I guess yeah. that's gonna have. That's how it's gonna have to be. That's um. Fine. It doesn't work anyways. It's fine. So let's start from the bottom. Mm -hmm. Private party: Isaac Cassidy and Mark Mark Quinn. Versus the Dark Order, Alex Reynolds, and John Silver in a tag team match. Who do you got? I have Private Party. Private Party. Mm -hmm. Um, I'm going with Dark Order for this one. Well, here's the, well the the reason I say Private Party for this one because Dark Order has another match uh, later in the night, anyways. So I, I feel I feel like having Dark Order win both. You know, the, it's kind of you know, but who knows? The buy-in is going to be fun. Uh, but yeah, I got, I got Private Party. I think they got this one. Um, Britt Baker with Rebel versus Big Swole in a tooth and nail match. What's a tooth and nail match? I I don't know. <laughs> they, they, they said the they didn't really specify what the stipulation is. Mm. I, did, I, I totally forgot to write that stipulation down. I just wrote Britt Baker versus Big Swole. All right. Um, uh, who's your Who's your pick? I have Doctor Britt Baker, DMD. Um, I'm going Big Swole for this one. Um, and like the only reason why is because Big Swole has been featured on TV a lot. That's um, true. And she and her story is like is the underdog, pretty much. Yeah. So. Yeah. Yeah, because Britt well, Baker has her group. Right. Yeah. Uh, okay, we have Matt Hardy versus Sammy Guevara in a Broken Rules match. If Hardy loses, he must leave AEW. Who do you got and why? I have Matt Hardy. I don't think Matt is ready to leave AEW yet. Plus, uh, you know, uh, Sammy Guevara ha already has a win on him from that tables match on Dynamite a couple weeks ago. So I, I feel that Matt Hardy is going to win this match. It's going to be a good match. I will tell you yeah. that right now. Um, I agree. I'm going with Matt Hardy as well. Um, for all things you said, but also because um, 
I don't know. Let's let's go that day. I, I'm I'm really tired right now. So no, you're, you're good, man. You're good. You're good. Uh, uh, Jurassic Express, Jungle Boy, and Luchasaurus versus the Young Bucks, Matt and Nick Jackson. Who do you got? Oh shit! I didn't. Mean... I have the Young Bucks. Young Bucks. I'm also going Young Bucks. Um, they're on a hot streak right now. They're they, really. They're doing really good right now. <laughs> yeah. Uh, next, we have the Dark Order, Brody Lee, Cole Cabana, Evil Uno, and Stu Grayson versus Matt Cardona, Scorpio Sky, and the Natural Nightmares, Dustin Rhodes, and QT Marshall with Allie. What do you got? I have the Dark Order. Dark Order? Oh, yeah. They, they're on a rampage right now. Um, I'm going to go with... Uh, I'm going to spell his name wrong. Oh, no, I didn't. Uh, Cardona, Sky, and the Natural Nightmares. Bold. Bold. Okay. Okay. Um, next, we have Darby Allen versus Lance Archer versus Brian Cage versus Ricky Starks versus Penta L0M versus Ray Phoenix versus The Butcher versus The Blade. Versus Eddie Kingston versus Sean Spears versus Billy Gunn versus Austin Gunn versus Jake Hager versus Santana versus Ortiz versus Chuck Taylor versus Trent versus to be announced. Who do you have in the 21 man bet casino battle royal? The winner receives a future AEW World Championship match. I have Sean Spears. You want Sean Spears? Yeah, I'm going with Sean Spears. Um, I'm going with Eddie Kingston. I didn't like. I I was having a tough time with this one because like it was, because the uh, you know because the rest of the people aren't announced yet. So you yeah. who knows maybe one of them could win it. Right. That's you know. So, but I, I just went with my gut. Now I'm Sean Spears. Um. Next we have Hakuro Shida, Hakuro Shida, uh, who is the current AEW Women's Champion. Versus Thunder Rosa, which I'm really happy they signed her, uh, in a singles match for the Women's World Championship. Who do you have? I have Thunder Rosa. She's going to be a double champion. Um, I agree. I'm also going with Thunder Rosa. Um, I've been following her for a while. Um, I, I, I don't think she's officially signed with AEW. I think, not yet. No, not yet. Beca- uh, because she's still the current NWA World's Women's Champion. Right. So. Oh, uh, we'll see, though. Once, we'll see. once she loses that, if, when, will that will happen, I believe she will sign to AEW yeah. officially. But I think this is going to be a really good match. Both women are talented. If you haven't seen Thunder Rosa's stuff, watch her stuff. She's... Yeah. Insane. Uh, next, we have Kenny Omega and Adam Page versus FTR with Tully Blanchard. Who do you got? I have FTR. Um, the the tension between Hangman leave, being kicked out of the Elite with the tension with Kenny Omega, I think that's going to be a factor in the match, and FTR is going to really put that in, into its advantage and come out with the win. Um, I'm also going with FTR um, again on a hot streak, only going up. Um, and of course, Kenny and, and a Page with the tension and with Anna Page, mm-hmm. you know, drinking still all the time and not being a part of the the I, elite anymore. I, I don't feel like it's going to play a lot into the match. I, I think we're going to see the Bucks get involved. Think so? I think maybe well, FTR it, becomes part of the elite. Maybe. A little Maybe. double double switch, kick Kenny out, kick Kenny out too. Maybe. Well, I, to see. I mean, have have the elite become all heel? That'd be dope. Oh man, no more being the elite. <laughs> um, it's gonna be a good match. Yeah. Uh, next we have Chris Jericho versus freshly squeezed Orange Cassidy. And a Mimosa Mayhem match. Um, match can be won by pinfall submission or throwing the opponent into a tank of Mimosa. What do you got? I have Orange Cassidy. I'm also going Orange Cassidy. Uh, by the way, the last 
last match is for the tag team championships, by the way. Um, oh, that match is closing out? All out? No. You, you just said no, what's that? I said the last match that we talked about. Oh. Because right. Omega and Paige are the champions. FTR yeah. is going for the championships. Oh, yeah. We forgot to mention that. Uh, it's been a long day. Okay. Yeah, it has. Uh, no, the 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 main event. The main event. Can, can, oh, the main I, event. Can I introduce this one? Uh, you better do a good job, or else you're fired. So. All right. So we have the current AEW World Champion John Moxley defending his AEW World Championship against the number one contender. Maxwell Jacob Friedman, MJF with Wardlow, and the paradigm shift is banned. You see, now I would have went with John Moxley personally for his intro, but that that's a, that's a personal choice. I had to add suspense to it, you know. Uh, who do you got? I have MJF. Okay. Oh, okay. So. Before anybody asks, I I did not do these beforehand. I actually just finished this before we got to the Omega Page FTR match. Um, no joke. I also have MJF. <laughs> yeah. So how many do we? Shit. The only one that we don't agree on was the the pre show match. Britt Baker, um, uh, the Dark Order against Natural Nightmares faction, uh, the Casino Battle Royale, obviously, uh, and uh, Dread Express versus the Young Bucks. We both said the Bucks. Did we? Yeah. Oh. We both said the Young Bucks. I remember. So there's only like three matches on here that we don't agree with. <laughs> Yeah, I guess so. Shit. All right. Well. Oh, the puzzle. Okay, so. This this is going to be a I can't one. lose AEW. I can't lose any AEW, man. I can't. Now, what happens if we tie, just in Shit. case, <laughs> comes down to, what is it, Clash of Champions, I think, is next? Clash of Champions Gold Rush. Yeah, so Clash of, Clash of Champions, if we tie on this, Clash of Champions is the tiebreaker. Oh, God. <laughs> right? Could you imagine if Jey Uso actually walks out the champion? That'd be amazing. <laughs> and I say Roman Reigns. That's Shit. the one that makes me lose. Fuck. <laughs> yeah, dude, AEW All Out is going to be amazing. Um, Obviously, I, I'm not going to watch it. Are you gonna watch it? Uh, what? AW? Yeah. Are you gonna watch all out? Um, probably not. Um, because mostly because I'll be hanging out with uh, Liz. Yeah. Tomorrow, all day. Right. Right. So I'll probably and she's just, uh, not a I'll fan of wrestling. Keep track. I'll keep... <laughs> right. I'll keep track of the of the uh, the results. Okay. Um, I'm gonna I'm gonna X the ones that we don't agree on, so that way I know. Okay. Uh, but yeah. Um. But hey, man, we're back. So that there's a. We back. Uh, but yeah. So make sure everyone go subscribe to the Cheap Marks channel on YouTube. Mm -hmm. Um. And of course, follow. At Dark Wolf Hollows underscore on Instagram and DLittle225 on Instagram, the two new additions to Weathers Media. Also, um, tune in on Tuesday, September 8th, to watch me win against Kenny in the All Star Wrestling Quiz finale, season one finale. Uh, yeah, so make sure you check out that. Um, thank you, everybody, for watching. Thank you, everybody, for listening. Uh, oh, uh, I do have a Patreon, by the way. Um, 
subscribe to his Patreon. So if, if you feel like it, go ahead. If you don't, then just dislike this video and tell me why you don't want to donate. Um, but thank you, everybody. Um, and also follow me on Instagram, Wrestler616. Uh, I don't know if anyone actually cares about this, but I am sorry for the Life and Times video this month being late. Um, I got <laughs> I got promoted at work. I'm working a lot more. Um, you know, so thank you. Uh, so a lot of stuff will probably be late from now on because I'm working more. And that's okay. You know, we're and, all, we're, but I'm making more money for myself. I don't know what that is. <laughs> uh, but we are out of here, guys. 40, almost 50 episodes, man. What are we going to do for episode 50? What are we going to do? When are we going to do it? Mm. My birthday? Another another birthday cast? Maybe a This Is Your Life cast? Mm. I Actually, I would love that. Yeah? You we'll set see. it up. You set it up, and we'll do that. All right. Well, we'll we'll have it on September 25th, and I'll have to tell you my birthday is September 24th. You dumb son of a bitch. We'll see. Uh, thank you everybody for listening and watching because this this is going to be up in video form on YouTube, and, and then we're also going to have it as audio only on whatever Spotify, thing you listen to. Uh, Spreaker, Spreaker. Yeah. Apple Music. Apple Music. Uh, all that stuff, all, all that good stuff. Anchor, obviously, it's where it's gonna be at. Spot. I already said Spotify. Definitely. But yeah. Uh, it's it's been a long day. We gotta get out of here, guys. I know it hasn't been an hour, but we we gotta get out of here, man. We gotta get out of here, man. We don't we always go. gotta do hour long podcasts. That's true. Yeah, I know. It's it's more of like I I like to do. Them. I do too. But it's so yeah. time it's so time consuming it and, really it, and it feels like it takes longer than an hour like yeah you start it and then all of a sudden it's like one two o'clock in the morning yeah I mean it's it's five minutes to it's five minutes to midnight already and I have to go to sleep man That's I sleep. AEW, baby all right guys thank you we're, we're leaving this time for real I promise do 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 do